Craig, thank you so much for coming in this morning. Uh, how How is everything going? Everything's amazing. Thank you. You are going to be here to to change my mind. I made a comment a couple weeks ago that I cannot stand tequila. I had a bad experience with it, like many of us have. <laughs> and you might say, that's probably because you haven't had the right kind of tequila, correct? Hundred percent. I mean, we hear it all the time. We hear tequila tales of, you know, typically it goes like this. I was in college. I drank too much tequila, and now I hate tequila. And uh, you know, typically what was available when you maybe had a little bit less of a discretionary budget when it comes to buying uh, great tequila was um, a better version of mouthwash. And so now, <laughs> I think mine was made in someone's bathtub, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in college, though, right? Was it in college, Mercedes? Uh, yeah, or shortly thereafter. Yeah, yeah. I mean, pretty much everything you've said is true so far. <laughs> so, yeah, it leads to uh, swearing it off. And then, um, you know, what, we're, what our mission is is to maybe gently bring people back around to. Uh, to really try the finer tequilas, and uh, it doesn't have to be expensive, but just ones that are made properly, and uh, and try to get you back on the right side of it. Okay, and and I like that because I don't like discriminating against any sort of you know drink, especially one that is finely made. And tacos and tequila inside Palace Station, you guys know your tacos and you know your tequila. So you have brought us. Oh, oh man. man, we, we had to eat, eat before this. Because we did. We're going to be trying three tequilas this morning. Greg, la Tuesday. last hour we're saying a protein bar, and then Steph and I were coating a green bread. Oh, nice. We want to have something on our stomach. We don't want to go in this with an empty stomach, but we'll try three different bread. We're going to rank these tequilas on, on, the, on, on how we like them. Is there a low end, high end? What are the tequilas that we have today? I, don't, I, I mean, I brought you three of my favorites. Um, and I don't know if there's a low end or a high end per se, but I, I always like to say drink what you like. Mm -hmm. um, I think that that's the best uh, the best course of action. And so um, we'll get into it and see that these are three different made tequilas um, by three different producers. Um, but there are three of my favorites, and uh, I'm hoping that we can get Mercedes to maybe try one and like one. Okay, well, I'll try all of them, but I, I, yeah, and I appreciate you being patient with me because I may be like, woo! But, um, yeah, we had to definitely eat before we drink tequila at 8 o'clock in the morning. So so let's go with our, your first choice. What should we go with first? Well, I thought the, the lightest one that you have in front of you is a Blanco tequila. Um, oh, thank you. Okay. And it's by Fortaleza. Um, and I think um, it is a really great representation of um, what a Blanco should be. Okay, okay. How much are you doing, Mercedes? I, I'm just, I'm sipping. I'm yeah. not doing shots uh, this morning. I, I have a lot to do. But let's talk about why it's Blanco. Why is it completely clear? Uh, so, I mean, color has a lot to do with it. A lot of people like to judge by color. Um, Blanco is typically a tequila that goes into the bottle, uh, you know, after the distillation pro process, so it's not an aged tequila. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so really it has... Um, a lot of the herbaceous um, flavors that you know get picked up uh, from the agave, and I think you'll see that um, you know people that really like tequila, this is arguably the purest form of tequila. Oh, the purest form. Okay, so how should we drink this if we're if we're not going to do do a shot of it? Just uh, yeah. I, again, I don't think that these are uh, shot tequilas. Yeah, this is like you I mean, want to savor. Any tequila this. can be a shot tequila, and I think that's what maybe is contributed to the bad rap of tequila is yeah. they think of it as shooting, but um, these are all sipping tequilas. And so some people like them as you're drinking it, which is neat. Some people like them on the rock. Some people like them with a squeeze of lime. Um, really, it's about finding that sweet spot for you. Uh, but I think uh, you'll find that, uh, I'm hoping you'll find that this is really uh, something enjoyable. Okay, it smells great too. Do you smell it? I did. It smells very strong. I love the smell. <laughs> yes. What, mm. what are you what are you thinking Steph? I, I'm a little nervous I just want to kind of just do it to get it over with um, but again I'm not gonna be doing the shots I'm gonna be doing the sip okay in. let's do a sip let's, let's do, do it I have a lime too you guys are so great you brought us limes you got everything set so I'm gonna have this on standby just in case uh, does anyone want to volunteer to go first on this one let's do it all at the same time okay, okay. we've got three to try so. all right uh, Craig count us down okay ready yep. three two one Oh, that's good. Well, that's very smooth. I didn't even need the line for that one. Same. 
Ah. Feel that after. There you go. That was that was not it made in a so bathtub. Good, right? No, yeah, that's nice. That was not made in a bathtub. It was not. That is smooth. It is. But I love I love the little uh, warmth that comes after it. Right. A nice chilly oh, morning. Boy. I think that you should start all your mornings with a little shot and uh and get on your day. I'm ready for the next one. What's next? That, oh, that was yeah, that, that was uh, good. I I liked that. I will oh. say I will go on record saying I liked this one. Okay. That was good. Okay. Also, yeah, like on a nice uh, cold day, I feel it going down my chest. It feels good. It's a nice like nice little burn going down there. Mm -hmm. Smooth. Okay. What's the second one we should try? Um the second one you should try is uh another one of my favorites, which is a uh, class azul reposado. Um, so the, the notion of reposado, it has a little bit of age on it, um, and it's aged in, uh, in barrel, so you, again, see the tequila pick up some of the coloration, so it's a little bit of a caramel-looking color. So is it the lighter one? Yeah. No. Or is it the darker it's one? It's a little bit darker. Oh, that's the darker one. No, 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 one. Not out of the two, it's the lighter one. It's the lighter yeah, one. Right okay. Right okay. okay. Um, that one. Okay. Okay. And, um, Cheers! Let's do this. <laughs> Party! Right, right, right into it. Huh? What, what, what about this one? You were gonna, you were gonna finish. Oh, no, I was just gonna say. Sorry. A lot of times you go into a um, in a restaurant and you'll see this bottle. It's a beautiful bottle. It's a white ceramic bottle with some uh, blue on it. Oh, um, that is that bottle. the one that you hit at the top with the bell? Exactly. Ah! So, uh, oh, you have the bottle. Oh my yeah! gosh! Yeah. Oh, Look at that no! bottle. I never knew that was tequila. I've always seen that bottle, but I never knew what that was. Yeah. What's the story on the bell? You just tap the bell for fun? Well, you could, I think we could come up with many reasons to tap the bell, but yeah. Um, you know, what's funny is I've been drinking tequila for a long time, and uh, I walked into a restaurant, and the bartender said, what do you like? And I said, oh, I like the Clase Azul Reposado. And he grabbed it, and he hit the top of it, and it rang like a bell. I'm like, you know, I thought I knew everything, but you learned something. New. <laughs> it was amazing. But how much, like, just how much is a shot of this? How much is a shot? Uh, so typically a shot of this will range and we see it anywhere from $35 to $45 oh, in, this uh, is not cheap. in a strip restaurant. No, it's not oh. cheap. Uh, we're going to be doing, um, we're going to be doing a special uh, where we feature it for $9 um, and we'll announce the dates that that's going to happen on. But um, we definitely want to get this uh, liquid to as many lips as possible because we really love it and believe in it. Oh my gosh! So this is like a very expensive shot. That All we're right, gonna do. ready? Okay, this is the the Casa Azul Reposado. Count us down, Craig. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Now I'm gonna venture to say that this is when you're gonna go back for and have the second sip. But Whoa! wow, yeah. something happened. Like, here's the thing: I'm not like going. Oh, I'm not cringing after I drink. Like, oh my god, it's so strong. It's right? like, but I I felt something at the top of my mouth, almost going into my nose. That was like a sensation that I kind of liked on that one. I loved it. I I like the this first is my... one a little bit better, but this one it was good. I would definitely go back for a second sip, JC. Yeah, I know, smooth as well. What are you giving up going up your nose? Like a, a, a scent or something? I don't know. It was like a tingle or something. I, it up there? I, I really, no, I liked it though. I like this one better. This one is my favorite so okay. far. Okay. Okay. What's this third one? Um, this third one is called uh, Tears of Yorona and it's um, it's an extra anejo. So um, it's been aged um, for at least three years in, uh, in oak. And so that's why it's a little bit darker. It's picked up the characteristics um, and has that dark, rich, caramel looking color. And the flavor is going to be um, very, I won't say sweet, but um, it'll be a mouthful um, and it's really a sipping tequila. So it, it, this is not something that you would mix with other drinks when you made your margarita or at home. This is something that, you know, for somebody that really likes to drink tequila, they'll enjoy it and sip it. Now, I, I, when I saw the name of this one, I laughed because <laughs> do you know the legend of La Llorona? Is it the, the woman whose uh, babies the, died in the, the river the, the or something? The ghost yeah. in La Llorona. I was like, you see oh, it on TikTok. It's so scary. Oh, scary. Yeah. So, so these are her tears. They, these are actually her tears. Okay. Yeah. They, uh, they bottle them and then they age. <laughs> they track her, her down. Right. They get her tears and then you guys sell yeah. it. Okay. And this one you said is extra anejo. Correct. And what does that mean again? Uh, it's just that it's been aged for at least three years in oak. Okay. Okay. Hey. Ready? Count us down on this one. Right. Okay. Three, two, one. Woo! I just feel happy. There you go. <laughs> like I feel like energetic. 
but I taste it. The, I, I mean, I, I am, I am fine with saying when I'm wrong, and if this is what tequila is supposed to taste like, I've been wrong about it. You, you've changed my mind, Craig, because that was really nice. The, I could see myself getting this maybe like on the rocks or something. The, the thing that gets me is I didn't reach for lime right away to just try, yeah. try to, you know, it's like, oh, yeah. that was a nice taste. How much is, uh, if, if you want to get this, this to sip on, how much does that cost? Like, Again, I'd say it's in the same ballpark. You find it for 30 to $45 at a, at a, uh, casino bar or a uh, high-end Mexican restaurant. Now, we were doing shots. We were sipping this. So we're still having some tequila here at 8.30 in the morning. Mercedes, you did mention before that tequila, last time you had it, you became mean. Yeah, I how turned into feel? like a mean drunk. How are you feeling right now? Why are you talking about how are you feeling like emotionally? The steps ready to go. She's bouncing off the wall. She's running into more shots. <laughs> well, in I, I mean, I've just taken sips, but I just, I, I think part of the, the whole thing is that when you drink a bad tequila, your goal is to just get drunk and no. so you're just drinking like, yeah. <laughs> but i could see myself just having a cool chill night with those we're getting some texts um and comments uh craig louise wants to know what was the name of the blanco tequila again the blanco tequila was fortaleza fortaleza um and i didn't get you the, the price point on that one is that about the same price point no, no no uh that's a much lower uh price point because it's not an unaged uh, tequila so i think that you'd find that probably for 12 to 16 dollars okay and and you said on the um casa Azul, someone wanted to know how much uh did you say or no where is it oh when did you say you're going to have the nine dollar shots of that we're finalizing that and hopefully we'll come back to you and we'll we'll put it out there it'll be another campaign that we're going to do where we feature um you know our uh, special menus, and this will go along with that. But this is, you know, I had I did tequila once. It was in Cabo, my buddy's 40th birthday. We had a bottle of Don Julio. Well, they say it was Don Julio. Who knows what it was? Passing the bottle around, not even out of the glass. It was Same thing. Pull Donio. But this is like, yeah, we're saying sit with your friends out back. The weather's nice right now. Sit outside or Thanksgiving coming up. Before dinner, have a sip on this when you're watching a football game or something. I like this. Yeah, I think people drink tequila for different reasons, as you mentioned. Like, uh, you know, Mercedes has had some uh, experiences. Some good, <laughs> some not so good. Um, you know, people say I don't drink tequila because it makes my clothes come off. Um, staff, staff, where are you? Uh, excuse me, staff. the jacket is still on. Yeah. <laughs> and other people say, you know, it makes me mean. That was me. It makes me happy. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I think that there's a. Uh, uh, so, some really good uh, opportunities for people to become something they're not or something they may want to be. Steph! Oh my gosh, Steph, Steph relax! Please. <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay. <laughs> okay. You bring some food as well. We're going to try some food here today. There's a choice to this food, Mercedes. Okay, so yes, it, the, it's called Tacos and Tequila. And if you haven't been inside Palace Station, you have to go. Uh, I mean, the selection of tequila is insane, but the tacos also. So you brought us some tacos today, but tacos with a twist. You brought us the carnitas taco, right? 100%, yeah. And so that's my favorite of all the tacos is carnitas. I love them. But one of them is different from all the others. Tell us what's going on. One is a little bit different. Uh, our chef, Casey, roasted some habanero peppers, and um, he made a very special salsa that he laid in there. And so one of them, let's call it, is a little bit more... Um, spicy than the others so there's an extra hot habanero sauce on one of them and we don't know who's and gonna get it and we're playing taco roulette it is taco tuesday taco so this is the tuesday. perfect time to taco tuesday all right let's do the taco roulette just who gets the, uh, okay. the spicy taco i think we'll figure it out shortly after we take a bite so jc all right pick one uh, okay so you anyone? can't look. look i can't look no okay okay i got this one here you oh you have to pick one yeah oh even if it's extra hot? It doesn't matter. You it's don't like, you don't care. Oh, no, 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 we have to do the extra hot. No, 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 no. It. no it's fine. It's, it's already, it's predetermined. I know who got it. It's fine. You do know yeah. who got it? Yeah. Are you sure? He, he, I don't he, think so. he picked okay. one that was. Then, all right, okay. Huh? I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> I'm going to drink some more tequila. Okay. Uh, I'll pick this one. Okay. Oh, these look delicious. For If you're um, live streaming on the live stream right now, you got to take a look at these suckers. They look this. I mean, the pickled onion is on there. That is my favorite part. Slow roasted pork. I see some oranges on there. Onion, and it's all on a tortilla. Um, the tacos. Can you do like mix and match at tacos and tequila? Hundred percent. I mean, we pride ourselves in making everything fresh every day. Um, oh. And uh, for those of you that have been there, you know, like 
The salsas are amazing. The margaritas are amazing. You brought in chips too, it looks like over there. Yeah, we brought some chips and some of our fresh made Oh, man. Right. Oh, yeah, we, we do have to, here. yeah. Okay. Okay, everybody so take, take a bite. bite at the same time? Yeah, we're going to take a bite. Ready? Three, two. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Ooh. I'm going to get the hot one. I'm good. Uh oh. If I'm good, that means Mercedes, you got it. Mercedes, Mercedes you got the hot one, didn't you? You got the hot one. You got the hot one. Great, this is delicious. It's your special day. Ooh, it's hot. Here, Mercedes, Mercedes, how is it? How hot is it? It's hot. <laughs> See how one to ten. Mm. Hey, Casey, get on that microphone right there. Casey, that one right there. How on a scale of one to ten? It's how how spicy is the taco that Mercedes has right now? Uh, it depends, really, if you like spicy food. I for love me, spicy it's, uh, food. About a six or seven for her. If she's not used to it. Might be a full on. No, she's a spicy girl. She's I'm spicy. a spicy oh, girl. So then you should be good. It's about a seven and a half. Yeah, it's pretty okay. spicy. I like it though. <laughs> I'm gonna finish this. Okay, this is awesome. It's been a great day. Tacos and tequila inside Palace Station. You guys, thank you. The food yeah. is incredible. And Craig, I can't believe it. You changed my mind on tequila well, I'm, I'm excited to have had that opportunity if you haven't been to palestation wow. recently they've done an amazing job redoing the whole thing thank you craig so much <laughs> i'm so i'm just ecstatic that's lit i don't that's like you out of nowhere. i love you craig. Like, craig, craig. i want to give you a hug craig craig, craig. this me and you we're linking up at palestation oh man Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you guys so much. Thank you. All right. Um. <laughs> I'm not lit. What are you guys talking about? I'm just happy. I don't, I don't know where she's like, thank you. I love oh, you. Man. I love you, Greg. <laughs> I have to say, that habanero <gasps> salsa was fantastic. I love oh. that. I want to order that. I'm just eating. Did you bring any more tacos or just the three? Put that salsa on it. Oh, we've got more back in the break room. Put that. Try that no salsa. Way. Bring it. Try it. It's so good. Bring it. So good. Casey, nice. <laughs>